What's going on guys? Today, we're back with another video. Today, we will be doing WrestleMania 40 predictions. So, in this ring, we're going to put the figures down. We're going to think, we're going to say who we think will win. It's just going to be me, WrestleMania 40 predictions. I'm pretty sure the full match card is done. I was going to wait till SmackDown, but it's a long time of waiting and I'm really hyped for WrestleMania. So, let's just get right into it. First match is Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. I don't have women's figures. I don't collect them. I want to get, like, some women's figures just for, like, these type of videos. But personally, the person I think is going to win is Rhea Ripley. I don't think they can, like, not have Rhea Ripley as the winner. Because I feel like Rhea Ripley is, like, going to be the new face when, like, Charlotte is done with WWE. Like, Rhea is going to be one of the best champions in WWE history, she's probably going to win multiple more championships. But personally, Rhea Ripley wins this one for me. Again, I'm sorry I don't have women's figures. But let's get into the next prediction. So for this match, I don't have all the figures, but I have Johnny Gargano for DIY. And um, Austin Theory for uh, whatever their name is. And then, obviously, the Tag Team Champions Judgment Day. I have a really outdated Finn Balor. I have not been able to pick up the new one. But this one, I feel like, is really obvious, and it's none of these teams on here. And I think the titles are going to get split somehow, some way. And I think that Austin Theory and Grayson Waller will win the SmackDown titles, and I think uh, Awesome Truth will win the Raw ones. And I think that's what's going to happen in this match. Judgment Day is going to lose all these guys. Actually, I said no one on here was going to win. Theory's winning that championship. And we're going to have some new tag team championships. We're going to have them on new shows. The split is going to be great. I don't have a Dragon Lee for his teammate or Santos Escobar. So we're just going to have these two. Personally, in my opinion, this match will be a pretty good match. But I feel like the build is really boring. And I think we're going to get some type of heel turn from someone on the LWO being jealous. Probably Carlito because he has... He's like, he was a really good heel back in the day, but, you know, I feel like someone's turning on Rey Mysterio because they can't turn, like, Rey heel or anything like that. And I don't see it being Dragon Lee because Dragon Lee got chose by Rey. I think it's either Carlito. I think it's got to be Carlito. Carlito's going to get mad. He's going to beat up Rey Mysterio for uh, not picking him. And I think he'll cause... The winner, he'll cause Rey Mysterio the match, and the winners will be Dirty Dom and Santos. That's my prediction for this one. Next match has a decent build, not as good as it should have been. But personally, this match is the one that I'm most hyped for. I feel like it's just going to be an insane match. I mean, Jimmy Uso versus Jay Uso. Yeet or no yeet. Brother versus blo brother, blood versus blood, Uso versus Uso. Who will win, Jimmy or Jay? Personally, on this one, I don't think they can take a loss for Jay. But I'd really like to see Jimmy win this match. But I think they're going to go with Jay. But personally, my prediction is Jimmy gets the win here. And then Jay gets a win at SummerSlam. And Jimmy wins this match right here. Next match is going to be another women's one. I'm sorry I don't have the figures, but we're going to do a women's a women's match right here. And Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, and who else was it? Oh, Naomi, and then versus Damage Control. Personally, this match, gotta be Jade Cargill, Bianca, and Naomi. Like, just no doubt in my mind, Damage Control is losing this entire pay-per-view. But honestly, I think Jade Cargill squashes all of them and gets like this huge push afterwards. I'm just saying, Jade Cargill is gonna go crazy in this match, and all the other rest and all the others on that team are gonna go crazy in this match. Damage control is getting easily wiped for the next match. Personally, this is the one that I'm least excited for. I just really want to see Chad Gable versus Gunther, but they want Sammy versus Gunther. I guess it's because Sammy has more of the star power, but. It's not what the fans wanted. But, you know, Sami Zayn, I don't think, stands a chance in this match because I think they're going to do way bigger and better things with Sami this year. And I think they're going to make him win the world title soon. And I think Gunther easily stops him in this match. And I think Chad Gable tries to help Sami, but I think Gunther easily wipes. That's just my prediction on this match. 
So yeah, my prediction is Gunther winning this match. In the next match is the Bloodline WrestleMania main event right here. Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, Seth the World Heavyweight Champion, versus Roman Reigns and The Rock. So personally, this match, Rock and Roman win. They have to win. Like They've gotten so many ups that if they lose, that will just make The Rock look like a clown. So I feel like they have to win this match. And I don't think these two deserve the win. That's personally my opinion, but they deserve this match win so much more than they do. Because I feel like Cody has to go against all odds in the last match. To finish his story, I feel like it will be a better story that he goes against all odds. And he beats up The Rock. He, he wins. He has Seth to help him, Jay to help him, everybody to help him, you know. And I think Rock versus Roman, I mean, Rock and Roman will win. And, and they just fell, but my prediction is Rock and Roman. And now we're on a night two. Opening this match is the World Heavyweight Championship match. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. And yes, I'm having to use a Jax one because I cannot find it. It's not in my crowd like I thought. I can't find the actual World Heavyweight Championship, like the big gold. But we're going to have to use the Jax one. Personally, this match, there's... In this match, there's going to be a special guest commentator... And it's going to be CM Punk, the best in the world that I wanted to see face Seth Rollins. But they, they couldn't. He got hurt, you know. So this match, obvious. Drew McIntyre should win. He really should. CM Punk should fight Rollins at SummerSlam or something like that. But I feel like Drew definitely has to win this one. He's had it for so long. So I think Drew wins this one. And I think CM Punk at the end like, does something and beats up Rollins or somebody, does something to somebody, I guess. But Drew takes this one. That's my prediction for this match. Next match is Karrion Cross versus Bobby Lashley. And I don't know my, where my Angelo Dawkins and Montez are, but I know I have them somewhere. But this match, personally, I don't think you can have Bobby Lashley lose. I think the only reason this is on the card is for for Bobby Lashley to win and be at WrestleMania because can't have Bobby miss two WrestleManias in a row. Come on. But obviously, Bobby, nobody likes this guy. So, Bobby takes the win. Sadly, I don't have an LA Knight figure yet, but I have an AJ. And the person I think that's going to win is LA Knight. And I don't even know his freaking figure. But, yeah, this has been a great storyline so far, like how they've been building it. But LA Knight definitely has to take this one because LA Knight cannot afford another loss, in my opinion. I've heard this from other YouTubers. I don't remember which ones, but I feel like I agree with that because he cannot take a loss like this. Like, AJ can. He's a Hall of Famer. Like, come on, this man can lose all he wants. But LA Knight, he's got to keep the hype. And I don't think he can take another loss. So LA Knight has to win this match. In my opinion, this is the most uh, unpredictable match on the entire card. Because, bro, either Logan Paul could win or Randy Orton, I feel like, Kevin just takes the pin in this match. I feel like that's why he's in it, but Logan Paul could win it and keep it and then face him in Cleveland at SummerSlam, or Randy could win it and face Logan at Cleveland in Cleveland in Cleveland at SummerSlam. But I think either way, someone's going to have to pin Kevin Owens. But personally, my vote on this match is Logan Paul wins. He retains the championship off some... Stupid shenanigans on Kevin Owens, beats Kevin Owens, wins the match, and the crowd is going to boo this man out of the arena. They're going to throw drinks at him. This man, he's he's one of the most hated in the whole entire business right now, but yeah, it could go either way. Randy could win or Logan could win. I don't think Kevin has any chance of winning in this match, sadly. Our next women's match is Io Sky versus Bailey. This has been a great build-up to this match. Personally, I think the winner of this match has to be Bailey. Like, come on, bro. You can't have Bailey win the Royal Rumble and then lose to EO. I mean, I guess to put EO over, but bro, Bailey's done so much for the re for the women's um uh, the whole women's wrestling thing. So, I feel like Bailey deserves this win. This is just like giving her flowers for like doing like making the women's like division great and women's division's low key been a little bit more fun to watch than the men's division. Like not even kidding when I say that. I've been really liking women's wrestling. So, personally, Bailey has to win this one. 
EO cannot win because I feel like they just got to, like, they got to praise Bailey for being such a great superstar. In the last match, the main event for the championship, the Undisputed Championship right there, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. Personally, this match is getting me very hyped up for the pay-per-view. Like, I cannot wait to watch this match. I want to see Cody finish his story so bad, but there's a lot of possibilities that Cody doesn't finish his story. So, this match, the winner is, in my opinion, I'm going to have to go with Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is going to win this match. He's going to finish the story, make his father proud. Like, come on, bro. There's no way you can have Cody Rhodes to lose this match. Cody has done everything for this business, and Roman's title reign has been boring, bro. So I think they got to give it to Cody. Plus, uh, in this match, like earlier I said, I think Roman and Rocket are going to win that one match. So I feel like definitely it's going to be hard for Cody, but he's going to have to go against all odds, and he's going to win the championship and win this match. I feel like the, the best decision in this match is to have Cody win fully clean, no help. Well, help to, like, get the bloodline out of there, but not, like, help by, like, beating up Roman. Literally help by winning the match. I think he's going to, like, win the match clean. That's what I think is going to happen in the main event of WrestleMania 40 for the Undisputed Championship. I have all the figures that I, like, have of figures that won the matches. So, Cody, Logan Paul, Bobby Lashley, Roman and Rock together, Austin Theory, Gunther, Jimmy Uso, and Drew McIntyre. If you enjoyed this video... Please like, please subscribe. We're trying to hit a new subscribe goal, 3,000 subscribers. So please subscribe. Go check out my other videos. I have a great, I have some great matches, and the Royal Rumble match is coming out soon. Don't worry. Took everything down. That's how you know it's actually done. It's just being edited like it's taking forever. Like, I thought it was going to be done before April. Bro, it's taken over a month, and I really haven't got that much editing done. I've been really busy. So, yeah, but... The winner of these matches are up right here, so like this video, subscribe to the channel. Peace out.